guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you guys how easy it is to make some photo props using some of Xyron's really cool products from their Glaminator, some of their sticker makers, and even their Mega Runner. So let's check it out. How cute these turned out. Super cute. Whether you want something very simple or if you want to add a little bit of foil and shine to it. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see that I have all of my die cuts cut out over here so I've got tons of different little pieces here side I have the print then cut pieces so I just use my Cricut to cut these out and I use my laser printer to print them you want them to be nice and dark now if you notice that you're printing them really light or blotchy then raise the contrast on your printer so let's go ahead and get started so what I want to do is set everything out of the way except for our laser pieces take the clear cover sheet that is provided whenever you get your glaminator and I just put in a piece of white cardstock at the bottom we're going to take our first piece that we're going to foil here which is going to be a piece of bubble gum so I'm going to use the pink here are all the foils that were um, designed by Xyron for this glaminator all right so what we want to do is we're going to get a copy piece here just like so and you want to have your foil then we're going to set it inside just like so. Make sure that your machine is on. You want to put it all the way over to the star. And once you have that beep, you know you're ready to go. And you're just going to push that in there and it'll grab onto it. So we're going to go ahead and feed that through. Once it's pushed all the way out, you want to lay it on a flat surface and let it cool. down all you need to do you can see that it's stuck on here just like this all you have to do is grab it like so and there is the magic awesome right so this is a nice bubble gum pink it's really kind of hard to tell because of my lighting but that is a super cute pink so that's gonna be one of our pieces so I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside now I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and get the rest of them foiled all of our foil pieces it doesn't take no time at all so all I did was keep open my browser so that way I could see what colors I wanted these to be so uh, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to bring in my die cuts what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pieces that are going to go together like these so see how cute that's going to be I'm going to go ahead and lay these together so that way we'll be ready to go Now that I've got these lined up, we're going to use the Creative Station light and the, this little disposable 3 inch sticker maker as well. And then we're also going to maybe use the little runner. So what I'm going to be doing is we're going to put these together and I'm either going to use popsicle sticks for the back or I'm going to use these pencils here. So I'm just going to use some, you could use paper straws skewers whatever you want to but i thought these pencils were super cute fun and vibrant and they were only a dollar at the dollar tree so i'm going to utilize these as our sticks what we're going to do is i'm going to scoot these out of the way and now we're going to get ready to go so for something that's about this size we use our smaller xyron and i'm going to run this piece through you don't want to run this piece because you're going to have extra adhesive in spots that you don't need it so i'm going to run this piece through making sure it's the right one and i'm just going to stick it in here like so just kind of basically getting a grip on there just like that so you can see where I'm starting to just pull this through just like that all right now once I get to the end here all I have to do is tear it just like so so you can see that little sizes like this can just simply run right through there and all you need to do is do a rub and then a peel 
And then you just need to peel away the top part here. All right, and then it's gonna leave it just like this. And what's underneath here is adhesive. So I'm just gonna take some tweezers here and I'm basically gonna get it started. And I'm gonna very carefully start to get this off of here. You could use your fingers if you want to. Just trying to be careful because it's a little bit more intricate. All right, so just like so. Now all you need to do is simply line these up. All right, just like that, and just press. All right, just like that, and you can rub away any extra adhesive. Now, for this one, I couldn't get a pencil inside, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a popsicle stick right here on the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Xyron Mega Runner, and I'm gonna go ahead and run me a little bit of adhesive straight down. All right, so just like that. And it's going to leave us with, you can hopefully pick that up and see that adhesive sitting there. And then I'm just gonna take my popsicle stick and pop it right on the back and press down just a little bit, okay? And then pick it up and now it's ready to go. So now we have a photo prop, just like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep going. This is in at a time, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this in here, just like so. And inside you can see there, I'm just sticking it on the adhesive just to kind of get it to hold in place. So just like that. So I'm just getting it there. And then I'm just grabbing the back right here and it's starting to pull. So I'm just gonna hold right here in the front and just start to pull like so. All right, and then we're going to tear. All right, just like that. This one here goes up to five inches. You can see right here on the creative station light, you just have a door that pops open like so. We're going to feed it through this way and then we can twist this little dial here and it's gonna come right off the back and then it has a little paper trimmer here. So all you need to do is feed this through just like so. We're gonna set it there and I'm gonna to start to turn the dial and you'll see that come through just like that, just enough to where it comes out. Take your paper trimmer, push down and now you have this ready to go. All I need to do is rub on it once again, kind of get that adhesive held on. All right, we're going to peel away. Left with is this giant sticker. And this is how we're going to do this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel it off, which like I said, has now became a sticker from edge to edge that is completely covered in adhesive. And what we need to do is line this up and start to get it down. I'm gonna use the popsicle sticks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my popsicle stick in the inside there so you can see it's open here. So I'm just putting my popsicle stick on the inside there and then pushing down. And there you have it, there's our bubble gum. Super cute, okay, so we can set that out of the way and let's keep going. cut these apart all right just like so make sure you rub very well another trick on how to do this is you can see that I'm slowly starting to work that off the paper like so is hold back this piece of the paper so you can see where the adhesive is showing and I'm going to start to line this up off just a little bit but if I was doing this slowly I could do that a lot better but that's just another quick tip on how to do that all right so once again I'm gonna flip this dude over get a little adhesive here with my mega runner get down a popsicle stick and there you have it cute and look how cute this would be for a boomerang so you can have cute boop 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 or even with your foil super cute I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Real quick before I do, I want to show you another way to quickly rub these down. You could flip them over and then rub this side for the adhesive.
There you have it. Super cute, super easy. I hope you guys make some of these, whether it just be simply for a boomerang on Instagram or an event such as 4th of July, a birthday party, Christmas. This would be great for a photo booth. I think this would be super cute for your next boomerang. So I hope you guys enjoyed these quick tips using your Xyron Glaminator. You guys have probably seen this in many videos, is the little mini one where you can make small ones. So for example, something such as my mustache could have slid right inside there as well. So you can always use, if you have one of these, to add little detail. I'm showing you using the little Xyron, the Mega Runner, the Glaminator, and the awesome Creative Station Light. So if you don't know, you can get several different refills, whether it be laminate, a permanent, a magnet for your fridge. So I definitely recommend checking these out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.